<laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to Intoxicated Opinions. In front of us today, we have Penelope. Bro, you interrupted my some magnificent Pen- intros that I give. Penelope. We have Penelope. This is not the regular one. This is Toasted Toast. Barrel Strength. Mm-hmm. Um, What's the proof? We've tried Penelope before. This is 110 proof. Char level five. We have tried Penelope Architect, uh, Penelope Barrel Strength, regular Penelope, Penelope Toasted. This is a Toasted Barrel Strength. But at the very bottom, you can see it's a little sticker. It says, Pina, Wine of Spirits. That means Pina Stores here in KC went or got to taste a bunch of different barrels, and they decided, hey, this is the one we want. They picked it out. They gave them the whole barrel. They bottled it. Boom, here we are. So, yeah. And so if you get a store pick, they call those store picks from someone else, like a Hy-Vee or Price Shopper or wherever, it's going to be a different flavor, different taste. And so you never really know. Smells a little sweet. It's not uh, super oily. Man, I had some bookers the other day. That's like olive oil in the glass. What does it smell like? A little bit of oak. Yeah. Cinnamon. Maybe some ethanol. It's not that strong. It smells sweeter than it does. Uh... Alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> Slight burn when it goes down. A little bit warm. A little bit warm. Hey. I will say, uh, I think you like the blue Penelope, didn't you? Char level three. Never mind. I said five. Don't yell at me. I think I like that one. You like this one? Yeah. Better than the architect? Yeah. You lost your mind? No, I'm, I'm very sane. <laughs> this is really nice. Aged for four years. This is a four grain bourbon. Um, and I like the bottle because the other Penelope bottles, their labels are the whole bottle. This is just kind of etched on the glass at the top. <sighs> Besides oak, vanilla maybe? Cinnamon, yeah, a little bit of warmth. Like I said, it, it burns a little a tad bit at the beginning, but it gets sweeter as you digest. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I drink a drink of water. <laughs> Flavor wise, this might be it smells great though. It smells like a hint of caramel. Or something. Maybe it's the toasted. Let's try this on ice. I'm saying, saying flavor wise, this is probably. Better than architect. The ice dumps down the smell. Dumbs it down? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, 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 yeah, it dumps it, it down. Away, huh? It takes yeah. it away a lot. Takes it with a burn, too. And it minimizes the flavor, so. A little flavor there. Yeah. I can feel it lingering in my mouth. It's not, the burn is, is gone. For 110% or 110 proof. It's usually, what, $60, $70? 70 a solid 70. I would pay 70 for this. One, I like the bottle. Two, the taste is great. It's more prolific. 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 I do like it better than prolific. the other ones. Prolific. The flavor is distinguishable, unique. I could definitely tell why they chose this one, this barrel over the other ones. You know what? So every barrel. So for the charred series or the toasted series, they freshly char an oak barrel and they age it in that barrel for X amount of time after it's already done. This is like, what, three to five years or something like that? No, like the whole bourbon itself's aged for four years, but then they put it in another barrel mm. to give it the char and to give it the extra oak and the toasted taste. Um, I would have thought that they put it directly in there. You know what we should do? I should get with Pina and say, hey, before you guys pick a next barrel, just give us some samples and we'll tell you which one to get. Oh. Yeah. That way we... We eliminate all this stress factor. Yeah, we know exactly. <laughs> they know exactly what's going on. Overall, I'm going to give this a solid. What you going to give it? I give it an eight. Yeah, I give it an eight. It's above average. For a toasted bourbon, absolutely an eight. For Penelope, I'm going to put this... Either the one or two spot. I really like the architect. 
it's just a completely different taste. Architects. It's one of the better Penelope's for me. Yeah. yeah. And we had them all. Yeah. So. We'll put the links to the Penelope videos we've already done up top. <clears throat> we will put the dis- description in the description. We'll put the links for Pina so you can check out a location near you. You can get this store pick. It's only $70 and you are not going to regret it. The bottle looks nice. The taste is great. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. We come in here. <laughs> give them what they need. Very spectacular. Yes, I am. I like the bottle, too. Look like what? Roses? Yeah. yeah. A flower of some flower. sort. Floral design. Maybe that's a Penelope. Is it a Penelope? A flower? I'm not a florist. How would I know? I think it's a flower. I thought Penelope was like a girl's name. It is. But I think it's a flower. I wouldn't know. Hey, let us know your thoughts. If you try Penelope, if you have not tried this particular store pick from Pina, you can only get it at Pina. Um, check out in the description the links to all the locations near you. Go there, get it. You will not regret it. It's going to be delicious. Boom. We appreciate you watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. We out. Peace. Peace.